America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing George Rogers Clark's intrepid winter march to take Fort Sackville. On February 5th, 1779, Colonel George Rogers Clark and 120 determined American soldiers left Kaskaskia and began an arduous winter trek eastward to capture the British post of Fort Sackville on the Wabash River, near the town of Vincennes. It rained constantly the first 12 days of the march, and rivers and streams they encountered were drowned under four feet of flood water, and crossing them was a nightmare. Many days were spent by the men wading through frigid water, at times up to their necks. To compound matters, their pack horses all died and their provisions dwindled to what the men could carry on their backs. Not all men were made of the same fabric, and the strong began to carry the weak. On the 21st, Clark and his men finally crossed the Wabash River and hastily built dugout canoes. That night, temperatures plunged, and the men huddled together in wet clothes and with empty stomachs. In the morning, the next stretch of dry land could be seen three miles away across a flooded plain. Undaunted, Clark gave the men a pep talk and concluded it by being the first man to jump on and break through the ice that had formed the previous night. He then began the unimaginably frozen slosh to the next piece of high ground. Here they finally found some dry wood and enjoyed a warm fire for the first time in days. They had come 200 miles and were now close to their destination. Courage takes many forms, one of which is simply enduring the seemingly unendurable. Clark and these heroic Americans did just that with their winter trek to Vincennes. Next week, we'll discuss the capture of Fort Sackville. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.